Yeah, I got 1890 and then I'm just like, wow, that is a lot of time. And much of it has been controlled by mainstream. When I was growing up, I saw images of turmoil, strife, struggle, poverty, just all of that. And I'm like, that's not who we are. Nope, that's not who we are. There's something that Indigenous photographers can do that non-Indigenous photographers can't do. When you have an understanding of that person's lived experience, you may not have lived the same life as them, but when you have shared reference points, there is a different result. Whether you're working in your own community or in another community, how you conduct yourself does affect the, the, the quality of, of the final product, of that final image. A lot of my work, it thinks about reciprocity or it thinks about a relationship, it thinks about sort of an exchange that's going on. What does it mean in this day and age to kind of sit down with a photographer and, and make your portrait, you know, in the in the age of the, the digital selfie, right? The foundation of that come, goes back to what does it mean to kind of create an image of Native North America or like Indigenous people. My work is titled Sol, which translates to stars in Navajo. And this work really was kind of looking at the importance of storytelling, especially Diné storytelling, and kind of the stories that I heard from my grandfather. Growing up, I was always surrounded by art, whether that was my grandfather making silver jewelry, my mom, she would always draw, and same with my, my stepdad. And there was something really beautiful about how their connection to art was always entwined with their identity and there was never something separate. I think the values that photography brings for me are family and connected to community. To be connected whether you're documenting or having that exchange between people. Whenever I take photos of people I give them prints or you know give back to their community in whatever way I can. I like the feeling of giving back and raising awareness of issues that I'm passionate about. This is what my work is all about, just being able to portray our people in that positive light that we see each other in, and recognizing all of our history too, leading up to you know this point in time. I wanted to show how present and very much alive our cultures are. I think well-being has a lot to do with knowing who you are and where you're coming from. Photography is a really great tool to be able to look back at some of those histories, those family histories. Acknowledging where we come from is really important. And sometimes before the acknowledgement comes finding ourselves or being able to find your voice to express who you are in your community. We bring all those values, all those teachings, all those ways of approaching things into the work that impacts what we see in that final image and a respect for how people want to represent themselves. Getting to hear people's stories and experiences and being able to have a, a documentation of those stories I think is incredibly powerful and extremely needed. For me, the way that I look at my work is I'm a documentary photographer and my work is so beautiful and it can be considered as art because our people are so beautiful. <laughs>